Okay, sorry for interrupting this video, I just thought that maybe you are gonna know that you can gonna get a skin for free. Yes, absolutely for free, okay? So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below your ID, your in-game name and the skin that you want which is under 300 diamonds, okay? And you will have a chance of winning that for free, okay? You'll find more information down in the description, okay? But sorry, let's gonna jump back into this amazing video. What's up people and welcome to this video. So as you probably know, I have been playing with the best player in the world and I do have contact with him, so I've been speaking back and forth with him about different things. So because uh, he is the best player in the world, I was like, maybe he has some great tips for us. So I actually asked him, can you go and give us five tips uh, how to become a better player in Mobile Legends or just what to think about and stuff like that in general. So he sent me uh, eight tips uh, that everyone can go and use in the game and just think about uh, which will go and help you become a better player and rank up in the game and get a better like... Um, win rate and stuff like that with heroes and here's win rate overall okay so a lot of these tips i've already mentioned in a lot of my videos but there's some new so i thought i might as well going to share it with you guys because i know uh like getting tips from the best player i feel like you should really going to listen to that okay so we're just going to start off by number one okay his first tip he said was play together with friends okay that was basically what i said uh, I've added some more stuff uh, to these points as well, but play together with friends or just people you know are good like. So first of all, playing with friends and not playing solo, it will definitely go and help you out. This is something which I, I've said in like thousands of videos, like yeah, you should go and play with your friends because you can communicate with them, you can help each other out and like you can focus on your own thing because uh, maybe you know that your friend is he's good or maybe even better than you then you don't have to like focus on oh god did he just like do that or why why is he building that because then you know that your friend or the player that you're playing with like he can play you don't need to help him you don't need to worry about him so playing with friends is like it's a really good thing to do and both he and me are recommending you to do this especially if you want to rank up in rank or just uh, get a higher win rate playing with friends will definitely help you unless the friends you're playing with are extremely bad okay try to find someone which can play and if you don't have any friends to play with you can try to uh, post on the forum try to find anyone uh, that would want to play with you or just comment down below this video and try to find someone uh, which uh, is maybe on the same rank or wants to play with you okay it's really easy to find players maybe just find a game add some friends after that game and just yeah you play with them and they're probably good either way okay so that was uh, the num tip number one okay N tip number two never pick a hero you can't play in classic or ranked and this is really obvious yes but there's still a ton of people not like they are still picking heroes which they can't play I I've gotta admit I have done it Maybe a few times when they have been a new hero and I just directly jumped into maybe a ranked or a classic Which hasn't always ended in a good way, okay? So he said You should either go ahead and play um, Heroes versus AI or a custom game you just learn the hero first This is so important to actually go and learn the hero before you start playing it, it for example rank that's the worst thing you can do picking up a new hero which you have never played before and that you can't play is playing it in ranked okay and this is goes uh, for all the heroes if you have a few heroes which you have played but you know that you're not good with it you shouldn't play it in ranked okay and you should have played it in classic because you'll be playing worse obviously you're just gonna learn that here but if it's a hero which you have played before sure play it in classic but i do not recommend you playing it in ranked okay it isn't that smart okay you just Try to pick heroes which you have played before, even though you know that they maybe they aren't super overpowered currently, but you have at least played them and you know how they work, okay? So never pick a hero which you haven't played or a hero which you're bad with, okay? Then, uh, number three, tip number three, when playing draft pick, epic or higher, pick the best heroes first. And this might always also be quite obvious, but some people doesn't do this either way, okay? And this uh, will most likely go ahead and work for... When you're playing with the team, okay? When you're playing solo in draft pick, obviously this will be a lot harder. But if you're playing with friends and you can communicate with them, 
or just talk with them before the match, you should gonna focus the heroes which are most important, okay? Like for example, Carrie. Uh, Carrie is extremely overpowered, getting her in the team is obviously really great, okay? But if you were the first picker and you always like play mage, you should still gonna pick carry so you can just like switch with uh, the teammates which wanna play carry later on, okay? Because you can switch in the teams, okay? So you wanna pick the best heroes first. By doing this, the enemy team can't pick that hero either, okay? Because you already got it. So for now example, the first thing you would pick would uh, be maybe carry because carry is overpowered, maybe refill because she's also really strong. Just heroes in general which are really really strong currently or that you really badly need in like a team setup, like a few months ago Estes was really great and he, you really badly needed him in a team, and if he wasn't banned, you should have picked him first, okay, or else the enemy team would have picked him, you can still switch between, between your teammates, okay, so that is great. So that was tip number three, tip number four, always listen to your team, okay. This not might not be the most obvious thing, but it, it's also obvious, okay? Most of these are obvious, but like, you just have to think about this all the time, okay? Always listen to your team, uh, especially Lord and Tilt, okay? So if they say, let's go and go to Lord, and you stay farming bot lane, for example, and Lord is a top, you will have a huge distance until Lord, and maybe it en ends up like there's a team fight at Lord. You can't help them from there, okay? Maybe you can push, but you can't help them. Maybe they will pick up uh, your full team and Lord. They will get a huge advantage, okay? So if someone says, "Let's go, Lord," uh, at least go get go closer to Lord. So you can't go and help them if the enemy team goes there, uh, or just go to Lord because you'll be able to take Lord a lot faster by helping your teammates out, okay? And same thing go for same thing goes for Turtle if you're mid and your bot lane is gonna go for turtle um, and your bot lane or mid you should definitely gonna go there even though you can see that your bot lane is gonna go and try to turtle uh, move towards them and help them it, it will you will be able to take down turtle a lot faster and if you catch on one of the enemies off guard trying to steal turtle or just roaming there you can easily pick up another kill and turtle which is the win okay so as in, that's the fourth tip the fifth tip turrets before kills especially the last turret okay this is a thing that Everyone should go to chains, okay? I see this in every single game I play. Like, it doesn't matter if it's ranked or classic, people are just going after kills. I don't get why are you doing that. Maybe you can take a turret or you can take a kill. You should always take the turret, you should always try to push. Taking turrets, towers are definitely much more important than kills, especially the last turret, okay? Maybe the first turret isn't as important, but getting the last turret is extremely important, okay? because you will be start spawning uh, super minions and you can also go into the base, and they can't escape that route because they don't have a tower there, so you can just like follow them and kill them, so that is extremely, extremely important. Uh, this late game, okay, late game, t focusing on kills late game or mid game, uh, just like uh, chasing someone, it isn't smart, okay? If you see someone with low HP but it's like a really long uh, uh, away, he's uh, away, you should try to just push instead, not try to follow him. And this is mid game and late game, you should try to push instead, okay? Because even if you get that kill, maybe your max build, it doesn't matter, okay? You should just try to push, okay? Because late game, the enemies will eventually get as much gold as you and they will be able to be uh, getting full stacks, getting full items and stuff like that. So always try to push, always focus on the towers, especially, especially the last turret, okay? And uh, tip number six, uh, use your map to the max, okay? So basically... Uh, you try to look at the map as much as possible, as much as you can, okay? Because you will be able to see if there's someone missing in mid lane, uh, then maybe you should go ahead and back a bit off if you're in top lane and you saw maybe them running top because maybe they're gonna go and gank you. Because this is an extremely easy tip to follow, just look at the map as much as you can, okay? Because you'll be able to see where the enemies are and where your teammates are. Maybe if you see someone ganking you, but you can see that you have two teammates also ganking, you stay in the lane, you'll be able to pick up maybe two kills because your teammates are ganking as well. You'll be able to see where your teammates are and where the enemies are, okay? Obviously you can't see the enemies all the time, but you can see them when they are in lane and when they're moving out of a lane, okay? So you can, and you can see what direction they are going and stuff like that, so... Try to look at the map as much as possible, okay? And number seven, okay, a lot of these tips which I've said, I have been telling you guys for 
eight months, okay? But like, you, uh, you like, mm, okay, this is from the best player. I felt like you really should gonna listen to this, okay? So, tip number seven never surrender a game, okay? Um, uh, the enemy team, even though the enemy team has a huge lead, okay, just try to defend. Eventually, you will get the max items as well, and uh, maybe the enemy team can go ahead and make a mistake, okay? And the comeback is real, it is definitely real, okay? You have probably made some insane comebacks, maybe won a game which you never thought you would win. And the thing with those those matches, they are like the best wins you can have. Like you thought, you were thinking like, we're gonna lose this and then you win. That's the best feeling you can get, okay? So never surrender, okay? I've said this thousands of times, never surrender a game. There's a huge stand chance that the enemy team... Uh, that's a mistake, okay? They completely face something and you're able to win, okay? Maybe you win a team fight late game, you can just gonna push for the win. Okay, simply, simply never surrender, okay? And then, tip number eight, this is another obvious tip. Learn from your mistakes, okay? This can be implemented to real life as well. But if you play a game and you make a mistake, then try to think about it so the next game you won't do the same mistake again, okay? It's a really simple tip, okay? So that was eight tips from the best player in the world, okay? Really gonna listen to these tips and you will definitely gonna get a higher win rate for sure and... Uh, rank up a lot faster in ranked okay but guys that was all for this video i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope i will see you next week guys but as always thank you for watching